Suppose the 19th century had racist black anthropologists. <laughs> let's, just turn, let's just turn the tables. Let's make them racist and see what they would come up with. Of course, they'd have to put themselves at the top and now find all the similarities between white people and chimpanzees. And it'd start with the fully hairy bodies, the huge ears, the... I have big ears. And the person who wants... I, look at my ear here. How big is that? Small, all right. Yeah. And people say, well, how about Obama? He's the first black president and he's got big ears. He's exactly half white. Well, he's we probably we call him a black, black president. Well, no, no yeah, he, oh, yeah, his dad comes from Africa. His he's exactly... Totally white. He's exactly half white. Half white. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. No doubt those big ears come from his mama. Okay? So <laughs> the point is, I'm just saying... It, <laughs> Look, look how easy it is to be racist. Right. And take a look at a chimpanzee's lips. They're, they're razor thin. All right. And and we've got some very famous large-lipped black people, you know, Jay-Z among them. All right. I don't have small lips. So they overlooked so much. <laughs>